Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'll be starting off my new um real reviews series on the new movie Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was a movie that came out August 5th, 2016, which was about supervillains being forced to pretty much do what superheroes do. But first we'll be talking about each of the heroes. Here's a list of the heroes, technically Joker um enchantress and slipknot aren't really heroes thing that they died like 10 seconds into the movie but um yeah anyway first we have killer croc killer croc is a man beast thingy um yeah the movie does a good job of explaining him so i'm just gonna go over briefly he's like the tank of the team he's really cool next is harley quinn joker's girlfriend her costume was very open but um they did a good job with costuming. Killer Croc actually was all makeup. It wasn't CGI. And Harley Quinn did a good job. She was very funny. Next is Deadshot, who is a sniper, assassin, hitman kind of guy. And was pretty much the informal leader of the team. Um, he was a very good shot. He, they said he never missed. Next is my personal favorite, El Diablo, or The Devil, who is a Mexican-California gangbanger who has the power to control fire aka the devil like just like the devil and he was a very he is a very cool um suicide squad member and was my favorite by far next we have this guy i don't remember his name um he's the military guy in charge and katana they were both the kind of the good guys who are put in charge of leading it um yeah next is Captain Boomerang. He was kind of the lamest, but he was like superhero wise, but he was a very, very funny uh, superhero kind of thing. He was really good. He did a good job acting. And next is um, this lady. I said I wouldn't be doing her, but cause, but she's a main villain in the movie. The Enchantress. She's like a sorceress who used to be hailed as a god and is now coming back to destroy us. Because we didn't hail her and her brother as gods anymore. Now we're going to be talking about what I like about the story. So I like the story for pretty well. They did a good job. They um, went pretty in depth about the characters. They did a good job of giving a little background on most of them in the beginning. And it was very cool. They did a very good job. Um, I liked how the story played out. It showed... It had a very, it was very, it was interesting. Um, they did a good job. The actors were very talented. I liked the the story was also very entertaining. Harley Quinn and Joker made it funny too. So um, as you see, I'm kind of just telling the story of Joker and Harley Quinn in the background right now. But um, yeah, it goes more in depth. And Joker and Harley Quinn are very funny. I know Joker isn't part of the Suicide Squad, but I wish they'd kind of put him in more he was just kind of there a lot he was just trying to save harley quinn but i kind of wish he'd been been in the movie a little bit more um next you'll see a picture of the enchantress's machine she was ta her and her brother who were trying to destroy cars and stuff and like take mach so they could build a machine with all the parts i guess is what i guess i kind of figured out but um yeah, she was supposed to be on the squad, but she got turned evil. And then, lastly, here's a picture of the Suicide Squad. It was, so, in conclusion, it was a very good movie. There were some parts which didn't make sense, like they had the machine that would blow them up, up if they disobeyed. And it would randomly bl break and not work on Harley Quinn at one point. Or, like, then, or the reward they got for saving the world was kind of lame also. It was like, congratulations, you saved the world, have 10 years off your, like, 200-year prison sentence. So it didn't really make much difference. But all around that, you read this 4 out of 5 stars. And what that, that means is, I would definitely go see it if you, by yourself or with a person, it doesn't really make a difference. It's very appropriate for all ages. There was very little cursing. Occasionally there would be like a little thing, but it's not like anything a child hasn't heard on TV or in a video game a million times. So, yeah, but um, I'd give it 8 out of 10, and why I wouldn't give it like 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 is because their reward was a little bit lame. It was like, 
congratulations, you get 10 years off, big whoop, you get to see your daughter, or whatever. But, um, and then there was, like, the weird thing with Harley Quinn and Joker. I was, like, I say it was, like, Sheila's, like, escaping to go with Joker, and then, oh, she's escaping, so I'm gonna blow her up, because that's how they held control. They had, like, a m explosive in their head. If they disobeyed, they'd bl be blown up. It was like, oh, I'm gonna go away and escape, and they click the explode button, and it doesn't work. It's like, and they didn't give any explanation into that whatsoever. But all around, it was a very good movie. I liked it a lot. Um, I would definitely go see it. And this will be the first in my real reviews segment. A lot more. I'll make more about video games and movies. So if you want to hear some, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye now.